Becca here from Inside the Square. Instead of my usual code-focused tutorials, I wanted to take the time to do a really quick training session to show you the page settings in Squarespace 7.1. There are a lot of options for main pages as well as individual sections, and this tutorial is going to walk you through them all. I'm going to show you how to set the height and width of a section. I'm going to show you how to change the color of a section as well as add an image background if that's the route you'd like to go. I'm also going to show you how to change the order of the sections and how to change the page title, menu title, and URL for an individual page. And last but not least, I'd like to show you something pretty important, and that's how to add a specific image that will show up when their page URL is shared on social media channels like Facebook. So lots to cover today in this training session. I'm going to hop into my demo site and we'll go ahead and get started. So here we are in my demo site, and you'll see I just have a blank page with a couple of different sections here. I'm going to click this edit button on the top left hand side and that'll take us into this page. Now you'll notice this blue border here. This actually isn't visible on my site. It's just visible in the editing section of or the editing view of my site so I can tell which section I'm actually working in. You'll see how it's shifting around the different sections there. Pretty interesting, right? So let's talk about your individual section settings. No matter what section I'm in on the right hand side here, we're going to see that little optional menu pop up. This very first icon right here stands for edit. So I'm going to click on that icon. Now we have the option to change the section height and the content width. So if I want this section to be medium or large, or I can click on these dots and change the section manually. Pretty cool, right? Now the width works the same way. This will scrunch it down to pretty small. And now you'll notice I get the option to change the alignment here. I can scoot that text to the left or the right. We can have the width at medium or the width at large. You also have the option to manually adjust this on your own as well. You'll notice if we get all the way up to 100, we no longer have the chance to change the alignment because it's at full width. We can't choose left or right if it's at full width. So let's leave both of these at medium and we'll put it nice and centered. All right, now let's talk about the background. If you want to actually use an image in the background instead of a solid color, the second tab is where you're going to add that. So I'll go ahead and select search images and, and we can either grab one from Unsplash here, like I'll just select this image and say add to site and that'll go ahead and upload into the background of the section for me. You can also add a video if you'd like, but a good thing to note, those videos won't show up on mobile, just image as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and add an image there. Squarespace will think about it and there we go. Now we have a new section uh, background, which is that full image. So you'll also see we have this option here called background width. Full bleed means it's gonna go all the way to the edges. Inset means it's gonna pull that section in a little bit and give us a bit of a border. So that's the difference between those two. And then the last option on this background tab is to change the overlay opacity. So depending upon the color theme, and don't worry, we'll get to color themes, but depending upon the color theme, I can adjust this to have the image overlay be darker or lighter. Remember when we first started, this section was a solid black. If I make this section overlay 90%, that means it's gonna be 90% opacity uh, or 10% transparent of that solid black for me. So I'll go ahead and make that just a little bit darker. So speaking of those colors, how the heck do we change those? Those are changed on this last tab here where it says colors. You have your entire color theme to choose from here. This is set in your design settings menu there. These are all the different color themes that you have to work with and uh, basically whatever color this thumbnail is is what's going to show up as the background color. Following so far? Awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this image so we can check out those colors a little bit more. We've got the light minimal, we've got black bold, we've got accent dark, all kinds of different options there. That's how you go ahead and change the color of those sections. So let me recap this one more time. We're going to click this edit button in a section. We can change the section height to small, medium, large, or whatever we choose. We can change the content width to small, medium, large, or whatever we choose. And we can also change the alignment, top and bottom, left and right, or right smack dab in the center. For the background, we can upload an image by either searching through Unsplash or the image is already on our site, or you can just add your own. And full bleed and inset, that's where you make that change. And then to change the colors, we've got that final tab to the right. This is where we can select any one of our color themes to change the background and text style of that particular section. All right, so we've covered the images in the background. We've covered the colors. Let's talk about how to move these sections around. Let's say I finished this section, but I really want this last one to be on top. We have these arrows to work with. If I click down, 
That'll scoot that section down. If I click up, I can move it all the way up to the top if I want to. Plenty of options there. You'll notice nothing's going down into the footer. That's treated as a completely different part of your website, so I'm not gonna be able to move this second section all the way down to my footer. Now I no longer have that arrow option there. And let's say you create a section and you just don't like it. You just wanna remove it. Clicking that red trash can icon is gonna get rid of it for you, okay? Awesome, so those are your different section options there. Let's talk about the individual page settings. While I'm here in edit mode, on the top right hand side, you'll see all the way up there, we have that little gear icon, that little toggle. And this opens up our page settings menu. Now this here is your page title. This is what's gonna show up at the top of the browser. Um, so you can name this whatever you'd like, but it's not the same as your navigation title. That is what shows up in your menu. So if you have a page in your main menu and you want to add a little bit of SEO to the title or explain a little bit more, you change the page title to what you want it to be, but navigation title to what you want it to be seen as in a site menu. And then underneath that, we have what's known as the URL slug. And that's uh, when someone is saying, my website forward slash such and such, <laughs> that such and such is the URL slug. So this might be a forward slash about or forward slash contact. That's where you'd make that change right there. Now, all the way over here on the left-hand side, we have social image. This right here is where you can actually upload the image that Facebook will use whenever your link or your entire URL plus that URL slug is shared on social media. So if you wanna use a special image for the about page of your website or for the contact page, this is where you'd upload that page. It's in page settings and then social image. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and close this. If you click this uh, gear icon on the top right hand side in edit mode, you'll be taken to your page settings menu. This is your page title that's gonna show up in the browser. This is your navigation title that's gonna show up in the menu. And this is your, your URL slug that's gonna show up when someone types in the address in the actual bar of their browser to go to your site. And then for your social image, that's your third option here. This is the image that will be shared on Facebook when someone shares that specific URL for this page. Alrighty, I'm gonna go ahead and select close and whatever settings you decide to go with, on the top left hand side, select save when you're done and that'll be applied to your website. So again, this was just a quick training, a breakdown of all of those section settings. These are pretty new for Squarespace 7.1, so I wanted to take this chance to make sure you understood exactly how those work. You can change the colors, you can change the width of the content, the height of the content, you can change the background to a specific image or a video, and you can adjust the page name, the page title, and the URL, and add a social image, and man, that was a lot of stuff. Uh, feel free to watch this at half speed because I had two cups of coffee today. Apologies if we went through that too fast, but I hope you learned something awesome. Thank you again for watching, and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. Ready for more? Head on over to InsideTheSquare.co to browse my tutorial library full of tips, tricks, and code snippets exclusively for Squarespace. That's InsideTheSquare.co.